Hi, for this video, I just want to do a really quick um, definition video um, to show you what the extrema are. Extrema just represents any extreme points on a graph. Um, they are defined very um, technically in a math textbook, so I kind of just went through and put the non-technical definition um, in layman's terms so that you can see what they are. Um, so for this, a local maximum is a point for any given interval. It's the highest point for that interval. It's not the highest point on the entire graph. It's just the highest point for that given interval. A local minimum occurs if for on any given interval, it is the very lowest point of that interval. Again, it's not your absolutely lowest point on the graph. It's just for a small interval inside of there. The absolute maximum occurs if it's the highest point on the graph. If it's the absolutely highest point on the graph, there is no point that goes higher than that, then you have an absolute maximum. And an absolute minimum occurs if you have the absolutely lowest point on a graph. Okay, so what I want to do is just kind of do a couple of pictures to kind of highlight what each of these would be. It is possible to have multiple combinations on this. You could have... Um, graphs that have several maximum points or several and if you have a plural of this then it becomes maxima um, and the plural of minimum is minima so depending upon the graph you could have a lot of different scenarios so for this one let me just draw one that has a couple of different points so for this one i'm going to have a high point i'm going to have a low point i'm going to have another high point and then it's just going to go forever to infinity. Okay, um, so with this, what we would do is we would look at all of these points. Well, we can see that right here at this point, we have a highest point. There's no point other than this one. Like if I were to trace across, there's no point higher than this point on the graph. So this would be called an absolute maximum. It is absolutely the highest point. And if you want to abbreviate it as max, that's fine. Um, but it is the absolute highest point on the map or on this graph. Um, down here, we have a lowest point for this interval. So we have a turn that happened in here. So this would be called a local minimum. It's not my lowest point on the graph. Um, but for this interval right here, it is going to be, sorry, I can't spell and um, talk at the same time. Let me spell that correctly. Um, so this would be considered a local minimum because of the fact that it is the lowest point for this interval. So there's a turn that happens. Basically, you can think of the maximums and the minimums as where there's a turn in the graph. Okay, and again, here we have another turn. So this would be a maximum point because that's the highest point on there, but it's not the absolutely highest point. Like I can see that there's points over here that are higher. So this one would be considered a local maximum. Okay, for this particular graph, because it continues in both directions forever and ever, there is no absolute minimum. We don't have an absolute minimum because this goes for forever in, to negative infinity in both directions. Um, so let me do a graph that does have an absolute minimum. So over here, I'm just going to draw another grid with my x, y. And then I will do multiple videos um, highlighting maximums and minimums for different scenarios. Um, so I will do several graphs on this. So with this one, let's do one that has an absolute minimum point, okay? So this one has to be an even function because of the fact that it's going upward. Um, and it, in odd function, they have to go in opposing directions. So both of these would be represent even functions. Um, I will talk about that as well in other videos. There's so much information in mathematics, I try to simplify it. Um, as much as possible. So here, right here, we have a turn. And so we would have a point that happens. If you notice, there are points below it. So this would just be a local minimum. And I'm just going to abbreviate it as a min. 
For this one right here, we have another turn. And so we, since we have a turn that happens, this would be a local max. And then for this last one down here, this one, because this turn happens and this happens to be the very lowest point on the graph, this would be an absolute minimum. So absolute minimum means that it's the very lowest point on the graph. A local minimum means that it's a lowest point for that interval. There was a turn that happened. A local max means that there's a turn that happens back downward. Um, and then an absolute max means the very highest point. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. Please continue to check out all of my other video content. And if you would like to subscribe, please do, do so.